Okay YouTube, it's still Sunday, February 21st. In this video, we're just going to be doing some rearranging in the garage, moving stuff around, and normally I wouldn't do a video on something like that, but it does require a couple of cold starts. Not cold starts, but a couple startups, because it's not cold today. First thing, what we are doing, the reason we're moving some stuff around is, the 66 has had to sit out in the wet weather, and you never think of Kentucky as a really, really wet state, say like, I don't know, farther south, Florida, Louisiana, and Georgia. But um, I'll tell you what, the past few years, everything stays wet here. Every time it warms up, it rains, especially through the winter time. But um, I've already made enough room where I can get it in if I move this stuff out of the middle. But it is a very tight fit if you want to squeeze next to this engine crane and get in between the truck. So what I'm wanting to do is, which will be the first required start, kind of an old start. I haven't started this power stroke up in like, I don't know, four or five months. So we're going to do a start up of it, back it up, clean out underneath of it, which is a mess. Got dog hair, leaves, everything else. And I'm going to roll this engine crane up against the wall. And the boom will be raised up high enough to clear the window. And it will be braced up so it stays and nothing bad happens. Then I can pull the truck up against it. And I'll have more room to squeeze the 66 in here. And uh, that way we can keep it in here and let it stay dry most of the time. It will be pulled outside in the rain on those rainy days that I want to do work in here but for most part it's gonna it's not gonna stay wet 95 percent of the time like it does when it sits outside so so let's get started doing this. Start up number one should be an easy Okay, as you can see, you got the battery charger on this. I hooked it up last night, and it's been sitting long enough to where these batteries were low. They they were 59% last night. We're up to 93. Should be good enough. I kind of like this new charger I bought. It has these convenient little plastic pegs. You can stick them on when it's still running. And also it has a safety feature where if you accidentally touch these together, it's not going to do anything. So let's put this camera on a tripod and see what the power stroke does. It has been way too long since I started it. Let's see how it does. Key even in here. I bet it starts right up. Don't make a liar out of it. Wait to start.
Okay, I almost changed my mind. The reason I backed it out, I was thinking about sticking my generator in that corner. It would fit and it would be out of the way, but I decided against that for now. Because I do want to get it out, start it up once a month, and having it hidden away like that might possibly discourage me from doing that. So, we're not going to do that. But the main thing we wanted to achieve was having, having an easier time getting the 66 in here so it can sit in here and dry out. I think I got it a little closer. No, it's no closer than it was. I don't like that, but I need to reverse that door to where it opens out. I'm not going to do that just for this, but one day I will. Okay, let's um, move some stuff out of the way and... Pull the 66 in here. 